Associate Professor of Psycholinguistics at the University of Lille. Um, I work on the interface between language and cognition uh, from a cross-linguistic perspective. So basically, I'm, I'm interested in how speakers, um, how people with different language backgrounds uh, behave, how they, um, um, let's say, how their language um, may influence their verbal and non-verbal behavior when they, um, where they are, they are in monolingual or bilingual contexts. I became an ambassador after the invitation um, from Francesca de Jong, uh, who presented the ambassadors program in Clary. Um, so it was a, a great honor to participate to this effort to make Clarin known to other communities, especially to communities um, that are closer to my expertise, for example, psycholinguists, um, neurolinguists, people who work with um, uh, language acquisition data, first and second language acquisition data. In these areas, data and data collection are the core of our work. Um, and there is a lot of uh, data with a great, um, great variability. Uh, so sharing knowledge through Clarin, I think, is something very precious for our work as psycholinguists. And this is why I wanted to contribute and um, make this effort known. I use uh, Clarin um, in several ways. For example, Clarin uh, gives this opportunity to researchers to um, share their data, but also reuse data already existing. Uh, so apart from uh, the classic tools like the VLO, for example, the Virtual um, Language Observatory, I also use a lot of uh, switchboard, which helps me analyze the data that I'm looking for. I also use a lot the language resources um, tool, the language resource families tool, uh, especially uh, all the data on bilingualism and uh, oral corpora and parallel corpora. One tool that I find very uh, useful is the virtual uh, collections tool, uh, which helps us to create digital collections. Uh, this means that we can have, for example, text data, video data, and then um, have a link, create a link that uh, can be publishable, for example, uh, in a research paper. So all these are uh, things that are offered to researchers and which I use also regularly for my own work. With respect to my dissemination activities, um, I promote Clarin with my own research work, but also uh, by participating in, um, in scientific events, for example, conferences where I present Clarin and um, dis discuss with other researchers uh, how concretely they can use um, all these resources that are available to them. In the last years, I uh, have participated in several training sessions I uh, have been a uh, trainer for uh, resource um, for several uh, resources like um, uh, softwares uh, for data analysis, uh, data collection and data analysis. Um, I participate also in different um, knowledge centers, national knowledge centers, for example. Uh, in collaboration with um, with my my local knowledge center, the Corley, the Corley uh, Knowledge Center, uh, we have created uh, training sessions, regular training sessions for young researchers on uh, different um, tools that help uh, people work on their on their data. I also contributed um, with um, a paper on the tour uh, to Clarin um, and more recently to different uh, conferences on digital humanities, for example, the Humanistica in, in Canada last May and um, 
to the Digital Humanities in France in, in June. Um, I, I also co-organized uh, a Clarin Cafe on the multilingual uh, corpora, on how we collect them, how we annotate them, and how we store them and share with um, other communities that might be interested in on the, on those corpora. effort uh, known to, to the communities um, I'm close to, for example, psycholinguists, um, uh, neurolinguists and uh, researchers on first and second language acquisition. Um, my plan is to promote uh, Clarin's uh, infrastructure and all the um, all, all Clarin's actions uh, in, in, at both levels, like the national level and the international level. At the national level, by participating actively to um, knowledge to the knowledge center we have in France, uh, with training sessions and um, especially um, connections with young researchers who do not know yet what uh, Clarin is and what is the infrastructure, what can offer this infrastructure for research. Uh, at the international level, I am connections with uh, language associations and also uh, big international networks, uh, especially one network um, which is called the Collaboration of Aphasia Trialists and which um, uh, is a group of researchers like uh, neurolinguists, uh, uh, cognitive psychologists, uh, speech and language therapists who all work with language data mostly uh, language data from speakers who have uh, language disorders. And this is something that I would like to create, like a new link with uh, this community, which is, I, I believe is a, is a very important community. Uh, and of course, uh, I think that they will get great benefit from what Clarence has to offer. <laughs>